What is up, everybody? Welcome back to FNF Bar Talk. Me and Negative Rob are at the bar, and we have another Four Loco. This is the Watermelon. This comes in at 12% alcohol and always around 660 calories and about 65 grams of carbs. And generally no flavor. What do you think, man? What do you think about these? This is like one of the last ones we have on the, the bats to do. Uh, it's watermelon. So you know how that usually goes. Um, Four Loco has not disappointed when it comes into that nice, strong molt in your face kind of stuff. Um, True. Eh, so I'm going to say you probably will get maybe a little bit of watermelon. And I'm thinking it's probably going to be candy watermelon. It's not going to be any kind of like fresh watermelon taste. Obviously, you're not getting a fresh watermelon in there. But I'm going to say it's more or less like a candy, like a cheap candy watermelon. But I got a feeling that they're they're not going to disappoint, and they're just going to be overpowering with the malt. I think that's just going to overpower everything. Maybe. Well, I know one thing. <sighs> it's Friday, and that means it's Four Loco Friday. Four Loco Friday. Rob's favorite day yeah. to try the Four Locos. Oh, yeah. All right, so we haven't had a good track record with these, but they are cheap. So if we want to get a buzz for a cheap price, it's perfect. Oh, you can definitely get a buzz. So <coughs> cheap watermelon, right off the bat. Cheap candy watermelon. <clears throat> Actually, I won't necessarily say cheap. It does have a very strong Jolly like, Rancher. Yeah, Jolly Rancher, yep. So uh, I'll... I'll Take note, I will refrain and take that back and say it's not cheap candy, it's a Jolly Rancher. You're welcome. Praise his glory. Because it doesn't mm. happen much. I'm not wrong much. It's true. All right. You want to give these a go? <sighs> I know. Yep. I know. All right. Cheers. Hmm. So, hey, that's not too bad. Kind of has a sour note on the back of it. You don't like that? Oh, I didn't think that was actually too hateful. So, oh, good Lord. The watermelon is there. It's, it, woo. The, mm. Now, the back end kind of tastes like hand, wa hand soap. <laughs> Wash your hands when yeah, you're drinking your it, four it's, loco. It's like watermelon mm. in there, whooshed around with some nasty, not malt. It's, I mean, it's definitely not the malt that I'm used to for four, lo four Loco, but there is a malt in there, and it's mixed. It's funny. It's like a battle in your mouth. It's like you got watermelon trying to overtake the malt, and the malt's just kind of just holding on, and the watermelon is just just overpowering just a little bit, but then when you swallow it down, it's no. Are you crazy? Is that your problem? It's... Whew. Hopefully it's better out of the glass, cause uh, ooh, ooh. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you want to get up, this is the one for you right here. See, the finish is kind of sweet, like sugar. Then it kind of gets a little bit of a hand soap, mm. a lot of hand soap, and it lingers. But if the watermelon's not bad, at least. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, oh, God. Yeah. So, I mean, oh, the watermelon is definitely kicking. It, it, it's it's definitely trying. The watermelon is definitely trying. But whatever that other stuff is, is it, it takes over at the back. It, it's kind of like a battle royale mm, going on in here. Ooh. Everything's just fighting everybody else. All right. Try have a glass. See if it's a little different, maybe. I hope so. All right. Tamed down a good bit. No? Yeah. The tart is still there. The watermelon is still predominant, but whatever that other thing is, it's mellowed out and it's kind of like leaching into the watermelon. At least for me. It, it, they're they're almost like even now. Ooh. We've had worse from Four Loco. 
I wouldn't say these are not. This one isn't too bad. Um, mm. it's not the best, but um, it's, it's better than a few we've had. <laughs> better than the gold. I'll give me that. Oh. Now, um, what was worse than the gold? Remember? Oh God! What, what, what did we do? One of them was really bad. Uh, I think you said it was worse than the gold. I put it pretty much right with the gold. Was it, was it the just, grape? Might have been the grape. Because I think it wasn't anything near grape, and it was just malt straight in your face. It was, it was the grape or the melon. It was one of them. I don't know. We'd have to take have to go back. I mean, just no. The melon I think tasted like a cantaloupe, but I don't remember exactly if the malt was overpowering. But yeah, there was something. Needless to say, the gold was the worst, and there was at least one that was right there with it. This one. I mean, that's those two were your worst out of all the four loco. It's not really saying much because some of these four locos, you you think it'd be the roller coaster, but it's kind of like it's just more of a down with a slight little, yeah, you know. yeah. Unfortunately, like I said before in the last video, the four loco is not what it used to be. It no. used to be good. I don't know what else to say. I mean, I've had some people comment and they'll leave like, but we'll get you messed up. Absolutely. Oh, it'll, it'll. Absolutely. If you're buying these on the premise of, you know what, you really don't care too much about the flavor as long as it does its job, this will 100% exceed your expectations. It will definitely put you on your face. And if you really want to go at it, hey, drink two or three of them. I don't Ooh. recommend that, but I think if you chug just one of these cans, you're good. And I mean, if you really want to get tore up, I recommend sitting down when you chug one of these cans. Give it about five, ten minutes. Stand up. There you go. If you can make it to the kitchen or wherever it is where these things are, crack yourself another one. And well, don't crack it open. Make it back to the couch or wherever you're sitting first, then crack it open because you might not make it back. Mm -hmm. But I mean... <sighs> So, I, for me, I would give this, I'd give it a six. The watermelon is there. It's definitely a Jolly Rancher watermelon. It's 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 right there. But whatever that, uh, it's not malt. I mean, it could be the malt. It could just not be as really predominant strong as it's in some of the other Four Locos. Um, but it, it's, ugh, it's just too much. It, it's, it's. It gives the watermelon just enough to say, hey, I'm here. And then it just ruins your day afterwards. For me, anyway. So I give it a six only on the, on the fact that it, there is watermelon in there. Um, circumstances were good. You know, I was kind of thirsty. It was a warm day or something. Yeah, I could probably chug this sucker down maybe about halfway. And then uh, I'd probably be done at the time. I mean, because... I don't know about chugging it. I mean... Well, <clears throat> drinking it at a fast rate, that's one thing. With chugging these, whoo, man. Well, from in, out of a cup, yeah, it can go down pretty quickly. True. Uh, unless you're really thirsty, chugging it out of this can, you'd be lucky to get about halfway. You stop, you take a breath, and by that point, you may not want to go any farther. You, you might want to just rest a little bit. So, But, yeah, if you want to get tore up, here you look no farther, man. This is this is where you got to be, but yeah, but the taste is there. So I, I'll I'll give you that. The watermelon is there, and it's, it's just not oof, not my thing. Yeah, I'll give it a um, I give it a six. Also, that's kind of what I was thinking before he said that. Watermelon's there. Um, you got some kind of like dis detergent with sugar on the back end. It's kind of weird. Uh, the glass is definitely a lot better. Um. Ooh. I give it a six. I mean, it's not hateful. It's not still reserve alloy series, but I think this one, I could drink one of these in a night. And, you know, if you guys do some searching, you'll see that Four Loco claims that drinking one can of these is equivalent to drinking like a six pack of beer. So that's why we say if you drink two of these, especially at a fast rate, that's like drinking a 12 pack really fast. So you got to kind of watch it and, you know, simmer down a little bit with all that. What is that flavor? I don't know. It's like, oh, it's like right there. It's like honing on a memory, and I can't think of what that flavor is. <sighs> but I gotta stop tasting that because mm -hmm. they don't make malt beverages. Uh, 
There's a lot of companies that don't make malt beverages like they used to back in the day. No. I'm not going to put all of them in there because, like we said, Steel Reserve didn't disappoint. Um, we've mm-hmm. ran into a few other malt-type beverages where, you know, it was seltzers and and um, ciders that, you know, they, they threw out a malt here or there, whatever. They were pretty good. Some, they lost their, they lost their skill. I don't know what it is, but yeah. Um, but hey, everyone's got their own. Some people might like this kind of stuff. I don't. So. Well, there you have it, folks. That is the Four loco Watermelon. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you had this, drop a comment. Let us know. Um, we always seem to get some pretty interesting stories when the Four loco Mad Dog, I mean, that stuff is evolved. So mm. definitely I'll drop a comment. I'd like to hear it. Um, if you like it, you hate it, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Where's my Gen X's and my Millennials at? Yeah, so... Um, you know, you win some, you lose some. That's how that's how it goes down here. Sometimes we go in with the expectations being very, very high, and well, it doesn't you know unfold that way for us. So, but hey, you know what? That's the fun of it. Even if it's bad, it's still fun for us to do it for you guys. So we you know we appreciate you guys watching it and you know, liking and subscribing and all that stuff. Anything else? Yeah, I don't know why I just chugged the rest of that, but ooh, that's good flavor. Yeah. Uh, enjoy your four loco Friday. So, oh, good God. Mm. Well, there you go, folks. Um, as always, drink responsibly. Do not be drinking and driving if you've been drinking these. Um, and I guess we will see you guys next time for the next drink review. Cheers.